Let's begin the video today. We are going to classify asthma on the basis of its severity. So there are five things on which we grade it as intermittent, mild, moderate or severe. Number one is the symptoms. Second is night how many time at night you are awakened by your symptoms third is the use of beta agonists which most commonly that we use in our setup is ventolin third how is it interfering with your normal activity fifth is the lung functions and the risk factor that is how many time are you using systemic corticosteroids so if you you can see for yourself that we have classified asthma into intermittent mild moderate and severe and in intermittent you can see that your symptoms are less than two days per week similarly nighttime awakening is less than two per month the use of steroid is less than two days per week and interference with your normal activity is none lung functions are usually normal and there is no use of steroid in the first step you you just prescribe short acting beta agonists and in the mild asthma you can see the symptoms are getting more than two days per week you are awakened three to four times per month and short acting beta agonists use increases more than two days per week similarly there is minor limitation of activity and fev as again normal fvc fev or fvc ratio is also normal and in this case you just uh, use use short acting beta agonist and alongside that sometime you may prescribe a more moderate uh, in a moderate dose inhaled corticosteroids and in moderate and severe asthma you can see that uh, in moderate asthma you you have symptoms daily you are awakened uh, one time per week but not every night and similarly you use uh, these beta agonists daily and you have limitations often you cannot perform your normal activities and your lung functions are quite reduced that is uh, greater than 60% but less than 80 percent and in severe asthma uh, fev or fvc ratio becomes reduced uh, greater than five percent fev is less than 60 percent you uh, the limitation of daily activities is, is extreme the use of uh, steroids uh, becomes more or uh, once or twice per year similarly beta agonist use increases nighttime awakening increases in your symptoms throughout the day uh, on, on that basis how you classify asthma uh, i hope you like the video and please like and share thank you